I mean, I could I could just start the conversation. I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Well, okay. Yeah, yeah, I why think do that? the the first place to start would be um, when Neil sent me your manuscript, and uh, I thought that I had a good, uh, a, a fairly good understanding of the the look of the book, the pacing, um, but it wasn't until we met that I've gained uh, a real insight into the character and the story and your experience with it. So I, I think that um, I didn't quite understand fully until our collaboration was very much face-to-face um, -face and uh, I felt like uh, we were collaborating uh, in a very pure sort of sense. Yeah, I think so too. I think that 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 conversation seemed to be a really in, integral for the book um mm -hmm. and we seem to be able to to do that i mean i i mean we i uh, we even did that with bubba as well right uh, we had a couple conversations or more about that book um that uh, uh, allowed us both to kind of gain a, a different understanding about it um but as I recall, that first conversation we had about River was a lot of you just asking to talk about the book, right? Just to talk about, and to talk about stuttering as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that, to gain a better understanding in that way too. Yeah, yeah it, kind of, it, it really hit me. Um, I remember the moment, just finally, like understanding the significance of this of of the words and the essence of the story of, of of a child understanding that they're not broken and and the power that that uh, that that had within the the, the whole story I felt um, quite poignant and powerful and touching and it, I don't think I I could have quite understood fully without. Um, with without that experience of sitting one on one and talking with you, and then later talking with Neil, all three of us, and um, allowing the illustrations um, and the words to organically kind of form its own thing. And I, I, as much as I'd like to take credit for, you know, my contribution, it, it felt like there's this momentum that was happening with all of us, all of us kind of. Um, agreeing to allow this story to to form on its own and cr be created within within this this very supportive and um this this freedom that that the collaboration allows i know um i was so envious of you two meeting face to face i so <laughs> wanted a meeting and there's a uh, a kind of conventional wisdom that you, that authors and artists should stay as far away as possible from each other. Um, and I've always thought that, that depending on the circumstance, uh, if it's possible to collaborate uh, more closely, it's a very good thing. And given the emotional intensity of this book and the way it was structured, uh, it just made sense for you guys. I mean, I know going back to when I first got the manuscript for Talk Like a River, my first thought was, I have to publish this book. And my second thought was, I'd love Sydney to illustrate it. So when it came together like that, it was kind of magic. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you look at, when, when, uh, just, just thinking about, just thinking about my first thoughts on the text and what direction I wanted to go visually and and how I could take the take those words and and elevate the words. Um, it's hard. It's a it's a really it's a really difficult balancing act because when you have such powerful words that are it's very raw, very honest. Um, if you um, you can almost go too sweet with it or too sentimental or too saccharine almost with the with the too emotional that can scare away the the reader 
um, and it feels not genuine at all. So it, it's it's this real sensitivity required to 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 make sure that you uh, invite the reader to um, interpret the words and the images to understand the the whole experience fully from from uh, from how the the images inform the words and the words inform the images and um and not be not be shaken by the intensity of of this book which is it's you know it's a very it, it it's quite heavy at, at, at moments but there's this there's this uh moment of elevate of 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 sort of elation i guess you could say i think what's integral of uh, a, a, about the work that you've done on this book which is sort of hard for people to understand outside of you know the stuttering community or 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 people who have been thinking about disability for a long time what's uh, what's integral to what you what you've done here is you've like you have created a a, a a a a book that is is so meaningful to so many uh, people be, be, uh, because it's not your standard representation of disability right right, right. so and that is that is extremely uh, rare right mm -hmm. so uh, you think about the uh, the book came out in 2022 and i've had i've had people in like the biggest stuttering organizations in the world tell me that uh, this book essentially will change uh you know uh, the lives of children who stutter because right. there's no other book that represents that experience in this way, right? Mm -hmm. Generally, we're uh, affronted with stuttering characters who are, you know, uh, like a like a kind of porky, a pig type of a thing. Right. But the artwork for this book, it it normalizes this disability in such a beautiful way because it just becomes part of the landscape, right? Like all those brush strokes that you made, all the attention to water and to light and to and to trauma and to and to pain. It's just part of the world that we're in. It's not separate, right? You mm -hmm. know, it's 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 seen through the child's art through the through the child's perspective, it becomes part of the um, e ecosystem, so that you feel comfortable in that space, right? Mm -hmm. And it and it's representative of that experience visually. And, and you know what's uh, what's interesting is there's there's so much of an impact that uh, and I I forgot to tell you guys this, but earlier this week, so there's a group of uh, stutterers inter nationally who got together and they and they've and they've made um a stuttering a pride flag um hmm. and part of the inspiration of that of that flag is uh, uh, based on our book wow because it's waves uh, the right. flag is waves right oh that's and they, beautiful and they specifically, they specifically got that from your artwork right Right. And so this is the this is the importance of that kind of work where where uh, you seem to be able to do that without really asking me any questions in a way like that's what was so beautiful about it. We just talked hmm. and then I, I I I looked at the images and it adds a whole other dimension to the words that is not is not possible for me a, as a writer uh to describe right mm, that's beautiful it, it occurred to me as i was flipping through the pages prior to getting on this 
um, chat that um, there's something incredibly cinematic about the way the book works. It's written from the point of view of the child. It's in the first person. And yet the shots, if you will, alternate between what the boy sees in some cases and then the frames mm -hmm. in which the boy appears in the picture. And it feels, it flows like almost in the way that a movie uh, flows. Um, and that I think is tremendously exciting, that shifting visual point mm -hmm. of view. I I do think that if I one of the earliest pictures in the book, which is that well, I was gonna say I do think that if I wasn't illustrating, if I wasn't um, pre making picture books, that I would probably be in film. I think I think yeah. about I think about yeah. it a lot in those terms, and a lot of the language of film can be applied to picture books. It's and and um, and just like in film. What Jordan, what you're mentioning with the the feelings of uh, the anxiety and the 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 trauma and all of those things that were so important to the book. Also, this this very very important moment of catharsis that you you know is sort of the 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 balance that happens when this within this book and because it's such an such a buildup of of all of those those that turmoil um that moment of catharsis is one of my favorite moments in any book that i've made or been part of um not only because it's um it just it just feels feels just right but also because it it almost didn't happen but we went we had we had gone so far with this book uh, and developing it and illustrating it and, and and working on the text and collaborating with everything that this moment that I remember having with Neil, I was almost almost in passing, just sort of suggesting this this gatefold and how uh, how I felt like it really the book really needed it and 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 Neil, you know, listening and 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 hearing that and and giving it a, a, a very serious consideration and you know and when we did well, it my, my initial my initial response was do we really need this um can the book right. support it and uh and then i kept thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it and it just wouldn't go away there's no what this what that gatefold could do so that you were literally inside the boy's head experiencing what he was experiencing and that was you know it, it now feels so incredibly inevitable um right but, um, yeah uh those are the decisions that you make you know spon sometimes spontaneously sometimes after a bit of thought and they can have a huge impact on how the book is perceived I mean, the other aspect, the other thing I remember most about the pictures for this book is when we met in Toronto, uh, oh. Sydney, and we went to that coffee shop with a big long table and we spread all, all the art, <laughs> all, the, all the, all the uh, um, takes and outtakes and, and sorted yeah. through them and, and, and kind of almost built the book that way yeah i guess we're done here are we done here Boss? we're done